What's up, Jin here from Coding Quick Tips, and today I will show you the basic structure of Slick2D, and I will show you how to create a new window in Slick2D. I will use a project created in the previous tutorial, in which we included Slick2D into our project. Um, to start off, we will need a new class, which will act as our yeah, main Slick class. So you can just create a new class. Uh, I will name it game because in this class our game will actually happen. You won't need a main method inside of it. Click finish to create it. Every slick to D game or every slick to D window um, extends of the basic game class provided by slick. So we will need to so we will need to extend the game class out of the basic game class. Just write extends basic game and you will need to import basic game from slick. Okay. Now it will show up an error because we must include some methods given by slick. First of all, we will need to uh, add a constructor and call the super method from the basic game. Uh, let's do this first. So just create a constructor and we must call the super method of um, basic game. Uh, if you don't know what the super method is, it just calls the constructor of the class from which we extend, so it calls the constructor from basic game. And the constructor of basic game will need a string. The string will be the window title we will use later on. I'll just call it game. It will still show up an error because we need to implement some methods that are needed by slick. Um, we will basically need three methods, um, render, update and init. I'll just copy some in. You can either copy some in if you already have the code. I I'll prefer this because I will have the names here and I really like this. Or you could just hover over and add unemployment methods. Okay. We will need to import some stuff here. So just hover over and import it. Okay, there we go. That's basically a completely working slick to d class. If we hit now run, you will see that nothing will happen because, yeah. Oh, okay. You will see that nothing will happen, yeah, because we won't, we don't call the game class inside of our main method. To create um, this slick class, in our game we will need to add some lines of code to our main method um, to actually init our scenes. Our scene. Um, so this is a basic scene and inside of the main method we will init it. To init it you will need an object from the class app game container. So we'll need to create an app game container. I'll just call it app and this will be a new app game container and as an argument it will the app game container will need an uh, slick to the basic game as an argument so just paste in our game we just created so here we will create a new uh, yeah, we will create a new um, app container and the app container is the actual window that will be displayed on the screen and the app container contains our game class. So the app container will render our game or what we render in our game class. To um, actually render this app container on the screen we will need to set its display mode and we will need to st start it. 
to set its display mode, we just call a method from the app container. So we can write app dot um, one moment, app dot set display mode. It will take three arguments. First, the uh, this, then the high, and then um, if it's full screen or not. I will make our window edge 100 to 600 pixels and not full screen. I would recommend you not to use uh, full screen in debugging because it's just nasty to have a full screen app all the time. Okay, if we now hit run nothing will happen because we need to um, start the app container. So just type app.start to start the app container. Um, now we basically have created a new app container and it starts and inside of the app container it will run our game class or our game object. To actually display something or do something inside of this window we will need to edit our code inside of the game class. Um, to understand this I will explain you what those three methods will do. First of all the init method. Here you will basically put or put your code in where you load pictures or just it's like a constructor but for slick 2D. So it's called yeah, it's called before the start. So that's the first method which will be called in your class and it will only be called one time. Um, next, the update method. This method will be called every frame update before the render method. Here you should do all your calculation stuff, you should do your movement stuff, you can get the input from the player inside of this method and yeah, you basically do all the game logic inside here. And at last, the render method. Here you render all the things you have calculated in the update method onto the screen. This method is also called every frame update. Um, to show you that it actually works, I'll just render um, the debug mesh on the screen. So G sets the graphics. Here you can render something and I'll just use uh, draw oval method which will draw a um, circle or an oval on the screen as first the coordinates of the oh god I think the left top or the center but I'm not sure so I will check this out until the next tutorial and send the width and the high. This should only show you that it works I will cover the rendering later on in another tutorial. If you now hit run, you will see that the circle is rendered on the screen. So all in all, you can say in summary that you need a game class where your game happens and this game class must be um, initiated in the um, main class from you or in the main method and there you will put your um, actually game inside of an app container and the app container will create the window. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you next time. Would be cool if you could leave a comment or like the video. Yeah, see you next time.